How do you dig a hole large and long enough to accommodate a double-decker highway beneath a big, busy city? One way is with this absolute mammoth tool, the world's largest earth pressure balanced tunnel boring machine. Tunnel boring machines are, are some of the most interesting pieces of equipment on earth because they have this ability to basically build a tunnel in situ. So they grind through the rock, they inject grout, and then they put the tunnel segments in behind them. So as this machine moves, it cuts in and behind it follows this beautiful tunnel. Constructing a big roadway in a busy city is a very, very disruptive operation. It, it messes up traffic patterns. It makes businesses difficult to operate. But the tunnel boring machine allows all of that to be eliminated while still constructing a roadway that people can use when the project is done. With a price tag of 80 million US dollars, Bertha was named after the former Seattle mayor and first female mayor of a major American city, Bertha Knight Landis. This massive tunnel boring machine, or TBM, is almost 100 meters long, towers five stories tall, and tips the scales at 6,300 tons, the equivalent weight of more than 30 diesel locomotives. Although this giant is intimidating to behold, it actually makes the job of tunneling much less fearsome. Digging tunnels is dangerous work historically. Lots of people would die, there were cave-ins, there was poisonous gas, there were all sorts of issues. It was very labor intensive and very dangerous. Tunnel boring machines like Big Bertha take a lot of that danger away and it really makes it a, a much safer and quicker process. Looking like a huge train, Bertha's design seems simple enough from the outside, but rather than a solid piece of machinery, her insides are filled with a mining factory that takes 25 people to operate. Along with all the mechanics, the belly of this beast is five stories high and contains a control room, staircases, ladders, two break rooms, a kitchen, and bathrooms for the crew. Part of what makes Big Bertha cutting edge technology is really how it incorporates many different fields of expertise into one. Cutting is a common practice, but cutting at something that large and that precisely is very difficult. It can turn underground, which is truly incredible. Also incredible is how Bertha repurposes her chewed food to help her push forward. Bertha is an earth pressure balanced tunnel boring machine, meaning it uses the excavated material to support the tunnel phase and simultaneously add to the force it is exerting as it advances. The cutter head turns gnawing through earth and chewing up rocks. Then its teeth help guide that broken up material into an excavation or mixing chamber directly behind the cutter head while a corkscrew called the soil transportation screw draws the excess muck up away from the front of the machine to the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt then carries it to the surface. This six foot wide conveyor is constantly being added to so that by the end of the project, it stretches the entire length of the excavated highway. Bertha's origin story has a basis in Seattle, a city in the American state of Washington. In the 1950s, Seattle built an elevated section of the State Route 99 Highway, known as the Alaskan Way Viaduct. 50 years of wear and tear naturally took their toll on the freeway. But in 2001, disaster struck in the form of a 6.8 magnitude earthquake. The Nasqually earthquake was one of the largest magnitude earthquakes to affect the Seattle area in a generation. It dangerously weakened the Alaska Way Viaduct, which was a critical piece of infrastructure for the area. Earthquakes can damage structures to a point that they're not replaceable, that they're, they are just, it's, it, they need to be demolished. They're not salvageable at all. And so when you have a structure that is unsalvageable, you need to think about, okay, do we replace it in kind? Do we demo that area and build back into that area? Maybe we need to think about a different route. When Nisqually damaged the viaduct, the city decided they would rebuild it underground. Counterintuitive as it may sound, one of the safest places to be in an earthquake is in a tunnel, and moving the highway underground would open up Seattle's waterfront, but it would be no small feat. Tunneling isn't an easy science. If you're building underneath the city, you are undermining how that city is supported. So you have to be incredibly careful about the strategy for tunneling under this, this bustling city. Any wrong move could result in a catastrophic failure. There's so much more to think about when you're working underground versus in the air out in the open. How are we going to make such a big tunnel that can accommodate a highway? The task would involve digging a tunnel 16 and a half meters in diameter and five kilometers long under a lively metropolis. To do the job, Bertha was born. <laughs>